Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to install MC Eternal, a Minecraft mod pack on the Twitch launcher. First up, open up Chrome, then simply search Twitch, go into twitch.tv, then the three little dots up here in the top left, you click that and go down to download apps. Once you're here, if you're on Windows, click download for Windows, if you're on Mac, click download for Mac. So you click here, it'll download the Twitch setup. Once that is downloaded, simply click it. It should launch it. Now you can just click install or you can click advanced and choose exactly where you want the Twitch launcher to go. Once you click install, it should install it. Then once you've got it installed, simply run it. It should check some files, do some updates if necessary. And here you are. Now. As long as you have Minecraft installed, you should be able to click on mods and it should show up right here. If you have multiple games, it might show up further down the list, but here we go. Click on Minecraft. As you can see, I've already got it installed, but for you, this should be empty. You go to browse mod packs, then over here in the top right, you search mc.eternal and press enter. And here it is, the MC Eternal mod pack. So you can click on here. I believe where my play button is, you'll have a download button. If not, you can always come down to versions. And you can download any version you want just by clicking this install button. And it's as simple as that. Now, MC Eternal is quite a beefy mod pack. And it requires quite a bit of memory to use it. So to change how much is automatically... well. To change how much is assigned, you go into the top right, it should have your profile there if you've signed in. Come down here to settings, then click on Minecraft. And then if you scroll down a bit, you can see right here, Java settings, allocated memory. You don't want to put too much if you don't have enough in your system, but there's the option to put a set amount. I'd recommend putting roughly half of the RAM that your computer has. You can mess around with it though and try to find the right amount that suits you. And that should be it. Then to launch the game, you simply click mod packs, you click play. When you do this the first time, it might have to download the mod pack, which actually takes quite a little bit. Then here you go. I've got it so that I'm using the jar launcher. You might have the new fancy launcher, but you simply click play. This launcher will disappear, Minecraft will load up, and you'll sit in the long loading screen. It does take a while, and it might freeze at some times, but usually you should be able to just wait it out, and then once the game loads up, you should be good to go. You mess around with the options, lower the settings, and you should be able to run it. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. If you didn't enjoy, let me know in the comments what in particular you didn't like, and I'll see if I can go about fixing it. If you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe so it'll show up in your feed, and if you want to be notified, make sure you press the notification bell.